if your toe is throbbing how do you focus on a healthy foot well you've got to stand back and look at the bigger picture of it and the bigger picture is what we emphatically described here today is that this wave equals this wave and that while that calibration is happening so is this and you just got to decide do you believe more in the eternalness of yourselves or this specific moment in time that's why we were nitpicking over the idea of grounded because you're moving rapidly forward hard to not notice that hard to not see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it because that's what you do with your physical senses so it requires activating something that means more it means activating the point of conversation that you can have with your source energy and that's a vibrational conversation that is demonstrated through emotions so when you feel fear you're not doing it when you feel worried you're not doing it when you feel like you're not sure of what you're doing you're not doing it want to calibrate it yes so notebook is open and the situation has been described give us the emotional clues that obviously let you know how easy it has been and how normal it is for you to have in this situation calibrated to what is yeah. I feel I feel distress I feel sad I feel powerless sometimes um, sometimes hopeful you know not completely powerless you know so I, I can work my way partly we know you scale. Can. we know you feel that we know you feel that we know you feel that and we know you feel that but all of that has led you to this right and so, so let's calibrate this when I focus on this situation which I am describing here I feel worried worried and there's another vibration that has an emotional demonstration that we want you to find I feel inadequate to fix this yeah or I wonder if I'm adequate to fix this well the wondering is enough resistance that you can give it the inadequate label okay good I got that you're interesting to play with because you're connected to your inner being enough that these words that we're describing don't apply to who you usually are and what you really know just this situation and this is a situation that you're calibrating so it doesn't matter what you usually believe or what you've normally believed the whole point of this exercise is to change this belief about this situation you want to calibrate to who you really are because the situation has calibrated you and this is something that really bothers powerful teachers it's one of the things that really bothers you a lot I should know better I should know better than to let a situation calibrate me really you're not gonna allow yourself any more step one moments you're not gonna let this wave create this wave you're not gonna let something really big make something really big of course the inadequacy that just flies out the window with that sort of discussion doesn't it right this is gonna sound a little off to all of you it isn't off and we're gonna explain to you while it isn't off until you know it isn't off ready this conversation is not about your nephew it's about your calibrating to something you desire happens to regard your nephew but this is about your calibrating to your strength did you take that ride with us just a little bit because in human conversations how could you be so selfish to be worrying about how you feel when your little nephew is suffering you should be thinking always and only and completely about your nephew and we say you do that you've got no power you let what is dominate your thoughts and you don't reach for the way your inner being is looking at this we want you to know something we're just gonna say it straight out if you knew right now your inner being and what your inner being thinks about most things as a normal physical human being you would criticize your inner being for not being sensitive enough <laughs> you would criticize your inner being for not being willing to be there for you and you know what you're right because your inner being will not be there for you where is your inner being there for you and who put there there you did you put there there you were the one who put there there so don't criticize your inner being for not going there with you your inner being is never gonna go there with you your inner being stays over here and so you had a there which caused you to create a there and the reason that you ever feel anything that is an emotion that is diminished in any way is because you're going over there and your inner being isn't over there your inner beings over there 
it really is that simple your inner beings over there okay I've got that yeah so I need to get there with my inner being that's a good pathway so you know what these emotions are so what do you really know and you could write the book in fact you did you could write the book about all of this too you know what that stronger overarching whole of who you are perspective is but something's keeping you from being able to do it in this situation easily what is it let's talk about this why is this harder for you than most say it well, I care more I care more it's yes I care my, more because my, it's my little guy <laughs> and isn't that what we've been saying always is that the things you care the most about are the things you think the most about and the things you think the most about you've done the most damage to because you've been sloppy in your thinking yeah. the things you think the most about are the things that you're most in trouble about because you thought that worrying about them and stewing over them and pouting over them and getting other people to feel your pain and we're not speaking specifically you're getting the sense of what we're talking about we're talking about humans in general you've been calibrating to mob mentality if I can get more people to agree with me that this is a problem then we'll be more likely to find a solution no you'll just find a bigger problem right and my brother and my sister-in-law don't really help because they're always like putting the problem in my face over and over and over again and yeah so well every time they put the problem in your face you are calibrating to a solution even if you're not consciously aware that you are I think that's true yes so we've got the book out and we know what we've already written on this side so let's write on the other side and a good thing Esther writes it every time what I dominantly feel about this who I really am and what I really know is she just tries to make that strong enough that that gets her attention so that she doesn't forget what she's doing in this moment with this side of the book so then ask yourself am I a focused being or a confused being focused does focus come easily to me or is it hard super easy do I feel rooted in a broader understanding or like I'm flailing about in unknown broader understanding do, do I have strong desire here or weak desire strong desire does my inner being support me in my desires or am I out here on the bleeding edge by myself my inner being supports me in my strong desires. does my inner being know where these solutions are my inner being knows where the solutions are is my inner being broadcasting those solutions yes my inner being is broadcasting do them. I ever receive impulse or inspiration or is it just a crapshoot with me oh no I received a huge impulse and inspiration that I've been following so when you remind yourself who you really are that the situation that you have easily been calibrating to takes on a different light and for right now in this moment this is way more dominant than this in fact the goal in this exercise is to hook you up with who you really are and have you heard us say that when you are in alignment with source or in alignment with the stream or in your vortex we've used so many different examples to get your attention about the existence of that state of being when you are tuned in tapped in turned on you are more powerful than millions who are not and so as you realize that in this simple exercise you have just reconnected with that true power and so now that is your point of attraction that's your point of attraction what do you think that that kind of point of attraction will do to these old beliefs I think it's gonna help. doesn't it have to move them yeah it does doesn't have it to move have them. to move them you can look around the world and it's easy to believe in illness because there's a lot of illness all around the world it's easy to believe in illness but when you hook up with your inner being you don't believe in illness because your inner being is not focused on illness so when you've calibrated to that for that moment in time you are illness free it just doesn't exist in your vibration and what's making you so mad at yourself is it's where you want to be is where you often are but this situation has made it hard to be which just means that there are still lingering beliefs mm -hmm. we just have to say this to you to all of you we love you so much you know what's coming next We're sloppy thinkers. we love you so much <laughs> you take score too soon you take score too soon it's like you calibrate and then you look and see did it work <laughs> well you're not calibrating to change that you're calibrating to assure your vibrational stance you're calibrating to change your point of attraction hear this this is so big the whole purpose for calibrating is
is to change your point of attraction people who are deliberate creators you commonly think I'll get tuned in to this power and then I'll squirt it over there and I'll make that person well <laughs> yeah. I will manipulate the laws of the universe now stay with us we're right on the brink of something really 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 important <sighs> Esther has to breathe because we're gonna yell <laughs> there is no such thing as assertion it does not exist assertion does not exist you don't tune in to assert well-being or to change people and make them not mind your messy kitchen <laughs> you tune in to your power you tune in to your joy you tune in to your love but what are you tuning into why what's the whole point of it your point of attraction your point of attraction so is it logical to you that you have a vortex version of your nephew yes and is it logical to you that you have a sorry grounded <laughs> version a what is version so the whole point of calibrating is to make it easier for you to move this way than to move that way to make the groove in the road that makes it easier to go that way than that way mm -hmm. to come to believe in desire do you know I'm gonna make a strong statement preceded by some silence so we have your attention desire is all you need but you hardly ever let yourself have a desire without a belief that shoots it in the foot and as long as you've got that belief that shoots your desire in the foot then things about that keep showing themselves to you which makes you not believe in your desire but if you could just have a pure desire your inner being has a pure desire about the things that matter to you and you told your inner being every subtle little thing that you were contributing to it so you've created this magnificent relationship with all kinds of things that you want and you don't have to justify them or prove them to anybody or get even one other person to agree with you all you got to do is line up with your power so that all that power is your point of attraction so that all that power is your point of attraction so that all of that is your point of attraction there's no assertion there's only attraction only attraction only attraction only attraction only attraction only attraction so when we say desire and belief we love it when your desires and your beliefs match and you really don't like it when your desires and your beliefs don't match that's a clue when you desire something but you know what you do ah and others have been the reason that you so often do it oh we got to breathe here for just a minute this is so big you have so willingly calibrated to beliefs about stuff you don't even want and why do you do it everybody else's that's what they believe and I don't want to look dumb I don't want to look fanciful I need to be grounded I don't want to be weird yeah you do yeah you do yeah you want to find the power of your desire and you want to hang around there often and your wonderful guidance system will show you every time you stray a little bit and now you know what to do about it and is it a bad thing that you have negative emotion no it's guidance is it a bad thing that you're living some life that's causing you to make more no it's what you came for you said I'll go and I'll mix it up and I'll explore and new desires will be born from what I see boom and then I will calibrate to them and I will make my former bogus flawed premise beliefs modify to match my desire that's what you said enough thank you so much that was perfect yeah.